Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm actually going to take a break from the fall album just for today because I need to figure something out for my scraps because this is my scraps right now, but I keep my scraps until the end of the album. So what I want to do is I want to make something that I can put on my desk. It doesn't need to be big. It doesn't need to be like extravagant or anything like that. I don't want it for the purpose of holding every scrap that I ever collect through all of the projects. I just need it to hold the scraps that I'm using right now for this project for the duration of this project. So I was thinking um, I wanted I wanted to be able to see through it. So I figured I would get some of my frames that I use. Um, so if you visited my Etsy shop then you would see some of the frames. Uh, I only have two left right now um, but they, uh, this is one of the designs of frames that I use to decorate and then put on the shop. Anyway, I'm going to use these and I'm also going to use the backing that came in the package for the frames. And then I'm just going to use paper, I think. Um, I do have chipboard actually. I think chipboard might be better. Um, and I'm going to use a lot of hot glue, at least um, for the bases because I want to make sure that they don't flop over. So um, I'm going to grab my pencil. We're going to do a lot of guesswork here. Well, it's not really guesswork, but it's not precise measuring. So I know I need it that big. So let's grab our trimmer. And I don't remember if I need to cut up or down with this trimmer. I think I need to cut up. Yep. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Now I need to decide how wide I need it. Because like I said, I don't need it to be ridiculously wide. I just need it like thick enough. So I'm thinking maybe two inches should be plenty suffice. Put one here and then put another one here at the two inch mark and that should be more than enough. So let's do that. Let's do two inches. And this is chipboard um, and this this trimmer will cut through it just fine. You just gotta give it a little oomph. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same board and I'm going to measure the height of these guys and we're going to do two inches. Oops. We're going to do two inches each one and that's going to be the side pieces. Okay. So I'm just going to take this measure this up and then go over to two inches go over to two inches and there's one and there's two Something else you can do as well is you can um, use paper for like guiding it, but we're basically going to actually I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put, I'm going to use some of these scraps here. So I've got some uh, already scored paper here um, and I really only need this part right here because I don't need this other part. So I'm going to trim that off real quick. Because you can cover this in whatever you want. You can like paint it. Um, and it's going to be just like any other, you know, chipboard or, <clears throat> excuse me, chipboard or um, cardstock created storage. It will last for a while, but you will inevitably have to replace it. 
especially if you put any kind of weight on it. Now, if you're good to it, it'll last for a long time. All right. So we're going to put one here and one here, just like that. And then we're going to glue those together like that. So I'm going to use Fabri-Tac right here. It's quick acting. Um, and it's paper to paper. Well, sort of paper, chipboard. And I've never actually done this before. I'm kind of winging this right now. I just have an idea in my head, so I figured why not try it out on camera. Okay. All right, so there's that. And we're going to leave this side open. So then we're going to do this side here. I just knew I needed something to organize these papers because they were getting a little out of hand. I was cleaning off my desk and then I was like, uh, what do I do with these? I still need them, but I don't really want them in the middle of my desk. So here we are. Here we go. Now I'm going to lay it out on its side like this. I'm going to put this on its back like this. Okay. And you can also use more of these to secure it down and you can hot glue it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another piece here and bloop. Oh, that's pretty perfect. It's a one inch, well, an inch and an eighth. I'm just going to score it right down the middle ish at half an inch. And then we're going to put one on this side and one on this side. And it's going to hold it still for us so we can glue. You could use white cream, whatever. I'm just using the scraps that I have on my desk. There's that one. Now we're going to make this one on this side. I'm just going to line it up. Now we have our basis for our scrap box. And then this one's going to go right in here. It's going to go right in here. <laughs> oh, you know what I did? I put these underneath instead of on the outside. Oh, poop. Come on. Come on, you can do it. So I'll show you what I did. So right now, this 
chipboard is on the inside of this piece right here. It needs to be on the outside, so it needs to go up and around. But when I do that, I'm going to have to kind of refold this paper because it's not <laughs> folded right. Oh, this one will come up. Oh, just barely. But that's okay. We just need it just barely. Okay. So there we go. So the chipboard needs to be around this white piece right here. And then once it's around it, then my things will go inside just fine. Okay. Go down. Kind of about halfway ish, but I do want them even. So So right there and then right here on this side and then that's it so before we do that let's glue this down so it can dry and then I'm gonna put my windows on my frames because it's not gonna be hollow like that all right, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue. Actually, I'm gonna to wait to put it on the inside right here because I still need to put those windows there. Um, let's see, is that a masking thing? I do it, okay. So I haven't used this glue gun in a minute. So the glue is kind of like an orangey color. So I'm going to squeak some of it out and get another glue stick at the same time. There we go. All right. All right. And I'm literally just putting glue into the crease. And that's it. Okay. So let's. Oh, no wonder it fell down. I moved the stand. All right, so let's leave that for a moment. And let's put our windows on our frames. Set that aside. This is just vellum. I don't know if I'm going to need two pieces or not. I don't think I will. Oops. No, I'm definitely not going to. All right. Okay. And then clean this up. And that was my beads right beside me. My little things. Alright. There's that. And then well, hello. Whatever the noise that was. There's that. And then that. Okay. Now you can do a couple different things. You can sew it. Well, I don't know if you can sew it on the frame, but I am going to glue it 
and oh, I should have cut it a little bit smaller. Let's cut it a little bit smaller, shall we? I don't think I need magnets to cut vellum. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a super straight line because it's going on the back of the frame. Okay. And cut this side just a smidge smaller too. All right. And I picked up my magnets again. Ah, perfect. Okay. So let's grab our tape that I like to use on vellum. I call my finger. Goodness. Alright. Alright. And so there is the frame with its window. Alright. And now what you can do as well is let's see, what do I have here? Um got mushrooms and butterflies and flowers and such. Use that. Alright. That'll be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this across the side like this. Cut it to make sure it's straight, and I'm gonna add some glue. Now, my foot itched. Add some glue. Push that all the way to the edge. Just like that. Okay. I'm gonna trim off this side here. I'm going to put some glue right here on this side, and then I'm going to do that whole uh, glue stick on the other side. What? Oh my gosh, look at all my pins. Okay. And basically what's this? what this is going to do is it's just going to ensure that the vellum doesn't come up. Very cool. Not that it would even with the tape, but still that and it's pretty. Voila. So we're going to do that across the other four sides or the other three sides rather. There's only three sides to a frame. Our, oh my gosh, there's only four sides to a frame. We just did one, that leaves three. I can't add or talk today, apparently. Don't mind me. Alright, let me scooch this over. Make sure it's right there on the edge here.
this large strap. And any kind of overage, I just sand it down. Or you could glue it down, either or. See, by doing this, actually both sides are going to be decorated. And it doesn't have to be a whole bunch extravagant or anything like that. Just, just something that you like. over and this washi I have no idea where it came from I've had it for a few years now I believe Then this one will be ready to go into our, I don't know, our, our thingy, our thingy body, whatever it's called, our little box that we're making. All right, so let me take this, put it there, make sure it's nice and straight. too far. Okay. I think that is good. Oh my goodness, I don't know what is going on out there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in place so it doesn't move on me. And it's just gonna be the outside here. Probably do a little bit of the other side, but not a whole lot, probably just now. I don't think I'm going to mess with that because I don't want a chance of moving it.
piece of that. Alrighty. And then there was one. So let's go back to our frame here. Put some tape on it. And there are all kinds of different um, designs out there for like paper storage as far as like creating it with paper um, honestly this one just kind of popped into my head because I have the frames I have the chipboard and I needed somewhere to put my scraps so this one was formed into my brain all right so let's grab some washi tape Or wash it. Come here. Come here, you. direction. There we go. Oh, my thing's crooked. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's way too far over. In this particular situation, it would be my paper, not my ego. All right, so we're gonna flip all of it over, and then I'm gonna put some glue down, and some more glue down. And start putting this bad boy together. And we're almost done. Then we can decorate the outside. Make it all party. 
or but I think it's kind of cool looking. I'm not a big fan of the red, but we'll figure something out. It was there, so I used it. Now I'm trying to figure out how to cover it up. And last is this one. Voila! All done. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and put it right here. Right on the outside. Okay. This one's not going to stay as much as the other one is. Ooh, I wonder. Oh, or am I going to be able to get this back up? Hello. Oh, please come up. Please come up. All right, there's one left. There's two. And come on. You can do it. Crap. I don't think you want to do it. You can do it. Uh, come on. Oh, good. Okay. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tape as my guide to keep this where it's supposed to be. Like that. But we're going to obviously have to glue this because that just looks silly. All right, so I'm going to use the uh, this one just because it's here. And I think it'll be easier to try to put on here than a glue stick. Um, this is not that fast after. Or a lot of people are like, oh, it grabs so quick. I need it to grab quicker. <laughs> I'll stay here for a second. Alright. Grab this other side. So you probably do the bottom first. Alright. All right. We might put on the tape instead of the cardboard. Or chipboard or whatever it's called. Oh my goodness, I don't know what they're doing. They're being loud. Alright. Okay. Alright, so that one's pretty good. I'm going to try my scissors. Just this out just a little. Alright, and then 
this one here. Put some glue on the frame. Get in the frame. I'm just gushing it, waiting for it to, to, to grab it. So while I'm squishing it, I'm going to glue the tape here. Nope, still didn't grab. What if I just wait for a second? Blow out the glue. Will that help? No idea. I'm still a newcomer when it comes to this glue. No idea what it does or doesn't do. I mean, I like it. I don't know anything about it. All right. So I actually really like this. Um, this washi tape. But I think what I want to do is I'm going to. Um, oh, I know what I could do. I could um, put this piece like this across these two pieces and then and then I don't know yet. We'll figure something out. All right, let's see. I have plenty of tape, so. I have glue all over my fingers. Oh my goodness gracious me. But hey, it's a fun day, right? Okay, so hopefully that dries like clear because right now it's just puddles of whiteness underneath the washi tape. This looks funny, which I think it, I'm pretty sure it dries clear. Most PVA glues do. I don't think I've seen a PVA glue that does not dry clear. this over. Flip that over. And then the last one, actually I might put one here. Um, no, I think I'm going to leave it blank. So I'm going to put the last one here. And then figure out what we're going to do after that. It's 
So as you can see, it does not take long to make this. I mean, honestly, I came in here, turned the camera on, had no idea what I was doing, and just decided to make a box because I needed a box. But you can do anything you want to. Especially in the crafty world. Alright, so now that we have that, let's see about, you know what, I'm going to put this glue on this bed. It's only on the top part, but it's something. that'll dry, I'm sure, eventually. I thought I just put glue there, but it didn't look like I put very much there. All right, let's see. What else can we do with this? Um, let's go ahead and cover up these red here. There we go. And then the last little piece of red that we covered up. And honestly, you could just call it a day with this and just be like, nope, I'm done. But I think I'm going to go a little bit further and use the washi tape as like a background versus a focal point. And we can do that by using some napkins, paper, um, different washi tape, ribbon, laces, rice paper. Did I say that already? Um, let's see. What am I going to put on here? So I want to keep this really flat. So I think I am going to go with... Let's see what do I have over here. Mm, I think that's too wide. That's pretty wide, but it is really pretty. I could just put it right here on the side instead of all the way around. I like that. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to cut this piece here. All right, cut another piece just like it. There we go. All right, and um, I think I'm going to, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to use a combination of the I have glue everywhere. <laughs> Capri tax versus the PVA glue or the art glitter glue. I mean, it is PVA glue, but. All right. Um, Go. 
and then put that down. That. And then put a little bit of glue on this side. And hopefully it will grab. All right. Hopefully. Well, I might have to use Fabri-Tac after all because it's not grabbing. I could use hot glue here too. Where is my plastic? Give me a plastic. Dip, dip, dip. Oh, this one's not grabbing me. Oh, there it is. I think it might have been because the uh, the art glitter glue was still wet. I don't know, but it just grabbed. There we go. Looks so cute. I like that. Alright. Um, you could really use whatever you wanted to because, I mean, it's not like you're going to be throwing it around or anything like that. Alright. Have that. Scooch it. Ugh. I didn't want to do that. I just got fabric tack all over my fingers. Missed the spot. It's like, why is it not grabbing? Because I missed it. Ding dong. Alright, so let's do this side. I'm just going to do the whole thing in fabric tack because the art glitter glue is not grabbing it. I don't know why. But it's nowhere, was that? Okay. Piece of lace. Try to center it up. We've got our very shiny because it's plastic, but uh, now we've got our box. This lace is not cooperating. Maybe it's not the glue, maybe it's the lace. I think it's down. <laughs> well, except for that part. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got glue everywhere. Alright, there we go. Um, 
how come you're not cooperating? The other one's drying just fine. This side is like new. Alright. Alright, so that's it. That's our box. Nothing fancy, just something that I can put on my desk and put my scraps in. So we don't actually need this. I thought I was going to need a second piece, but I don't. Uh, one of my bees just fell. Oh, because my mic is like hanging funny. Anyway, so I wanted two because I wanted something that had like a bigger pocket and then something that had a smaller pocket. Um, and in hindsight, I probably should have made something a little bit different because now I'm going to have to dump it out in order to get some of these smaller pieces. But the general idea still has the same concept. You put them all in there. You put the bigger pieces back here. You can dig through it and flip it. Get off of there. Dig through it, flip through it, all that hoopla. And it is all the paper that you're working on for this particular project. And this I think would be considered bigger pieces. And this not at all. Well, I'm not really using that for this project, so we're just gonna throw that up there with the rest of the vellum. Put this over here and voila. See? You can even put your hand in there and dig through it. So it's exactly what I needed it to be. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this little uh, adventure. I was worried that it wasn't going to work because um, like I said, I've never done it before and it was completely by free hand. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.